What's up, you Italian-loving bastards? And welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer. And today, I have a really slick flick lined up. It's a little giallo, little thriller kind of flick. It is Aldo Lotto's 1971 fantastically brilliant film, Short Night of Glass Dolls. And this one is really unexpected. Uh, really stylish, like I said, and just all kinds of fun. So let's dive right in. Here is the short night of Glass Dolls. Short Night of Glass Dolls is a richly surreal horror mystery combination, which conjures Italian giallo sensibilities and Hitchcockian story elements to create an insanely original tapestry that truly engages on multiple levels. Layered with emotional undertones and lavishly presented in visual splendor. This highly accomplished Italian production boasts a tremendous cast, a fully mesmerizing story, and a healthy helping of twists and turns within the narrative to keep you guessing until the very end. If unorthodox cinema catches your fancy, then Short Night of Glass Dolls has got your hookup. The film follows an American journalist in Prague named Gregory Moore, as he has died under mysterious circumstances. As he is being wheeled into the morgue for examination and eventual autopsy, he subconsciously begins to piece together the clues to his death, and exactly how he has come to this dire end. Can he discover the truth and find a way to revive himself before the surgeons open him up? And more importantly, how is he able to even function so long after death? Jean Sorel takes on the central role of Gregory Moore, a desperate man trying to pull the pieces of his memory together in order to possibly save his own life. In grand sympathetic tones and an unbelievably charismatic performance, Sorel manages to craft a fully fleshed out character in Gregory Moore. Bit by bit, we delve into his memories, patching together the story from his relationship with a beautiful young woman to her sudden disappearance that keenly seems wrapped up in his untimely death, and he edges us along this insanely incredible journey with impeccable fortitude and unbelievable poise. The film in general is a wonderfully crafted gem, and with Jean Sorrell's outstanding performance, it elevates it just that much more into quite a spectacle. Filling in the rest of the cast is a hodgepodge of character actors and memorable faces within the genre world, all pitching in to add to the mystery and intrigue of the production. The main players of this astounding story are Barbara Bach as Mira Svoboda, the beautiful love interest of Gregory, who hauntingly disappears and sets all this craziness into motion. Mario Adorf as Jacques Versaigne a journalist colleague of Gregory's and ambiguous friend. Ingrid Thulin as Jessica, a former flame of Gregory's who partners up with him to get to the bottom of the mystery. And finally, Jose Quaglio as Valinsky, a suspicious man who leads up a secret society that could be the root of Gregory's problems. As genuine as they come, the entire cast does a fantastic job with the surreal elements of the film and they each add a great dose of curiosity and wonder to this already extraordinary flick. Purely dreamlike and as contemplative as cerebral films come, Short Night of Glass Dolls is a marvelous cinematic experience to say the least. Its visual prowess and undeniable style go hand in hand, forging the narrative along and delving into some truly remarkable territory. The mystery is taut with tension and the characters are fully fleshed out and wholly genuine in their sincerity, 
creating a perfect balance and a stupendous foundation for the film to absolutely thrive in. From vivid imagery to haunting setups, this is one Italian production that looks and feels exceptionally hypnotic. If you're in need of something ridiculously different and completely original, while still maintaining a good balance of giallo horror elements, then give this one a shot. It's truly an inventive gem. In the end, Short Night of Glass Dolls is a terrifically terrifying mystery of dreamlike cinematic madness. And there you have it, folks. That is the ridiculously original and just dreamlike surreal flick, Short Night of Glass Dolls. A great giallo thriller horror combination that kind of does its own thing and really has an amazing approach to how it does it. Really loved it, uh, was unexpected, I thought it was just going to be a traditional giallo, and I was pleasantly surprised. But guys, that is it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you all the next movie review. Take care.